Hi and welcome to pre reg calculation. In this, in this video we'll be looking at concentration. Question here is telling us that we have 50 mils in a bucket, right? We have 50 mils. And it's telling us that if you take a sample of these 50 mils, or if you had um, a standard, now the standard is going to be 100 mils, right? This is the standard of comparison. So if instead we didn't have 50 mils of this solution, but we had 100 mils of it, it's telling us that we would have 12 grams of whatever we've dissolved inside here, or the solute, would have 12 grams of the solute. That's what this is telling you here. This short, this short form is just saying, you, if you took 100 mil, or if you had 100 mil, if you had 100 mils instead of whatever is written over here, you would have 12 grams in there, okay? And it's called the percentage weight in volume, right? But the problem is we don't actually have 100 mils, we have 50 mils. So what's the relationship between the two? How do we go from 100 to 50? Well, we divide by two. And that means that the actual number of solutes we have in there, or the number of solute we have in there, the amount is actually six grams. It's also going to be half. So that's an easy part. That's an easy section to begin with. But the question is telling us that if you dilute this concentration, if you dilute this solution into a bigger pot, 100, uh, 350 mils, right? If you put this into 350 mils by adding, by adding uh, water, in other words, by adding 300 mils more water, what would the what would the new concentration be? Well, for one thing, we know that this won't change because we're not adding any more solute. We're just adding more solvent. We're adding more water. So this is still going to be six grams. But the question is not asking you to give this as an answer, although this is correct. It's saying express this in terms of a sample or express this as if you had 100 mils. How would you express this as if you had 100 mils? The same way we went from 100 mils to calculate how much was in our actual bucket, we'll do the same thing over here. We'll say, how do I get from 350 to 100? And I do the same here with the I'll do the same here with the actual quantity of the solute. So um, you multiply by 0.2 something, and then that number you then multiply six with as well. Um, <clears throat> how do I know it's 0.2 something? Well, I'm going to be going from a big number to a small number, so I know I'm going to be multiplying with a number less than one. However, an easy way to do it is just say 100 divided by 350. 100 divided by 350 will give you, let's do that. We'll give you 0.2 something divided by 350. Yep, it's this large number over here. You don't have to write it down. Don't press reset on your calculator. Just immediately went, go ahead and type in multiply it by six. That gives you 1.7. So now we're expressing this concentration in terms of 100 mils. And because we're expressing it in terms of 100 mils, we don't need to write 100 mils. We can just go ahead and do what they've done over here and that they've written 1.7% WV. And every scientist would know that you you uh, will know exactly what you mean by this. They'll know exactly what you mean by this conventional way of, of writing this. So what if you're in an exam and you're doing this question, how should you go about doing it? What's the quickest way to do this equation? It's just, I only, I only went about it the long way just to illustrate to you what's happening. But if you're in an exam, there is actually an easy way to do this calculation. This shouldn't take you more than a minute to do, especially a question of this type. This should be where you save time. Um, so let's look at this. You will use this equation. We have a starting concentration and a starting volume, and then you have an a new concentration and a new volume. Some call this C1, V1 or C2, V2. You don't have to call it that. Now you just plug the numbers in. So my concentration at the start here is 12. This is before I dilute it. 
and the volume is 50. My new concentration, I don't know. That's what I want to work out. And my new volume is, however, is 350. So I'm just going to do cross multiplication, multiply these two, bring this down here, bring this down here, which would mean that you divide the sum of these, or I mean, sorry, you divide the result of these by 350. And you end up getting 1.7 anyway. And it's going to be percent. The reason why it's going to be percent is because you use percentage for concentration here. So whatever units you use in this side of the equation need to match up to the units on this side of the equation. So if I use mils, I need to use mils over here. If I use liters, I use liters over here. So one thing that might do to trick you in the exam is they'll have different quant different uh, different different sorry different units, or they might express they might express concentration with different units. So they might be. Uh, in terms of parts or it may be in terms of molarity or it could be in terms of percentage and they'll mix that up and you just need to obviously get them all in the same concentration you might have to convert liters to milliliters once they're in the same concentration this equation kicks in so if i was doing this question i'd have gone straight to do the to doing this but i wanted to explain what's actually going on so yeah that's it for this question i'll see you again in another question